Hey everyone, uh, Brickworld Chicago is over for another year. Um, so in a little bit, I'll show you a short video of my modules in the loop. Uh, the Beyond the Brick guys will be coming out with a video of the full loop uh, sometime shortly. Um, but first, let's have a look at uh, some of the uh, mementos I have from the event. Um, so first up, let's have a look at these. This is the FAQ card I filled out for the GBC loop at the event. Uh, it was a massive loop, over 392, 390 modules. Uh, the, the figure did go up and down a little bit, um, but there was a point where we had that module, that many modules for a considerable amount of time. Uh, some 362 feet, uh, about 120 meters worth. The average ball took over an hour to go around the loop. Um, that meant there were a lot of modules in the loop, and it also meant that uh, I took uh, just over 50 modules to the event, uh, and I got about 48 on the table in the end. This is my uh, informal working out, trying to work out the linear length of the loop. You can see it had this funny H pattern where we kind of, we went around and then we dipped in each end and then around. These little bumps are just representing the bridges for me. Uh, in terms of goodies that we got in our bag, uh, here we go. This is this I got in my door price, a nice little Speed Champions build. Uh, we got lots of goodies, we got lots of... Uh, uh, discount vouchers from vendors. Uh, this is the Brickworld book for the year. This is, uh, has some really nice stuff in it. There we go. There's the trade ball contraption layout. It changed a little bit from this, but uh, it was a truly massive table. You can see it's one of the biggest like, single layouts in the entire event. Um, this is the brick badge I got this year. Um, yes, Tommy's here. Um, certainly got asked that a lot uh, a few times this year, definitely got asked that a lot this year, so I thought I'd have a bit of fun with it, with my badge. Uh, this year, for those that worked in the GBC area, we, were like, we got one of these GBC Maintenance 2019 bricks, which was really nice of Tom to provide that to the people that attended. Uh, I also picked up a, uh, one of the 2017 kits to build and add to the table, uh, and was lucky enough to get one of the workshop kits as well. Uh, the reason I say lucky is uh, these kits sold out in just over an hour from when they officially put them up on the website to buy. Um, so if you are interested in the 20, 2020 kit, uh, it will it gets announced around April 2020, and then a short and a week or two after that, it actually goes up for sale for the event. So as soon as you see that email telling you about the kits available, jump on immediately any way you can if you want to get one of these kits. Uh, they were kind enough this year that because they sold out and they sold 80 of these kits in, in just over an hour, uh, they released the parts list. So we had a couple of nice builds on the table of uh, totally custom parts. Um, about 60 of them made it into the loop, so that's a really good turnout in terms of workshop kits. Uh, what else have I got down here? A couple of minifigs. We got this nice little mini, little, it was a space scene this year, so we got a little space minifig. A couple of little, oh, a bit dark to see them, but a couple of little tiles uh, as well. Um, no doubt there will be some other videos around that go through all the good stuff that came in these bags. Uh, actually, I found these when I, I didn't look through my bag in a whole lot of detail. I was there and I got home. These are quite cool. These are from the Brickmania guys. These are some little decals. Uh, water, water application, I think. So you get some plain minifig tops and you can slide on some custom expressions or some bullet holes, if you so desire. Um, other than that, uh, that was about it in terms of other, we got a lot of brochures and stuff like that. So let's, uh, let me turn over to the video now. Um, I only filmed, uh, my contiguous section on the loop, uh, which means I had about two and a half tables and modules. Um, and then I actually had modules scattered throughout the entire, uh, the entire layout. I actually had, uh, here we go. I actually had some, we had, because we had workshop modules up here, so I had some modules up here. I had modules down here, I had modules down here, I had some modules over here. So I um, I had my main section down here, with my bridge was this little loop down here, and then I had a bunch of little ones scattered around for a total of 48 on the table. Uh, roughly about 10% of what was in the total, that total 390 number. Uh, so let's kick up to that video now, uh, and you can have a look at what I brought to the GBC loop at Brickworld Chicago 2019. Uh, this is my layout in Brickworld Chicago this year. Uh, I've got about three, two and a half tables of stuff, and I'll give you a quick tour of what I got on the table. So, 
Uh, I'm starting with in this section here. It's just a small section uh, of modules that all have instructions. There are plenty of modules on the table with instructions, uh, like the workshop modules here there in the back. Um, but I thought I'd put a small section public facing uh, just to help people who were interested in getting started in GBC. Uh, so we are starting with a wheel module uh, and that's feeding a PV productions instruction module, this conveyor coming up here into uh, my Hoken module. Uh, we've got a few extra bricks on the front because, to absorb the energy coming out of the, uh, the conveyor there into uh, a Solaire variant. Uh, that's feeding a golf putter module of mine and then feeding into uh, a Mako stepper. Uh, we then have a small serpentine uh, into a whirly gig and into uh, the power miner wheel. Uh, I think the, there's a few casualties here getting everything to work together. The tables are quite uneven. There is almost half an inch height difference in here which is, uh, has been interesting to get things working properly. Uh, here we have the mini golf, um, all the same. Uh, not, a, not a huge amount of changes, uh, a little bit of tuning. Uh, this show, it's a spaceman because it's a, the theme of the show is the moon and beyond. So we've got a little spaceman fighting the alligator for a ball. Um, so I'll just quickly overview of these. And there we go, uh, that feeds into a, a chain lift module. Uh, a GB Stono here in red and then into the tower bridge. So let's just zoom out a bit and out a bit and out a bit. And there you go. So that goes up uh, uh, and across and it's going to come down uh, into the catcher. Uh, we're then feeding the chain reactions one that I've put up before. So using the paper ramps out of the book to make, uh, to make a nice flip flop output into uh, a Lapras theme, uh, 2018 workshop module. Uh, we then have the little Rover module uh, and a new module for me. So this is a, this is my Stargate module. Um, so if we come right in, we can see the portals going off into infinity. Wow, portals connecting to each other. Uh, so the balls start off, they actually start in a ball pump. Then they feed into this little uh, this little stepper here into the portal where they teleport across into the other portal and come out the other side. Uh, and then that feeds into a green wheel lift and into the next section where it's on this layout of the kit section. We also ran the grateful contraption area for World of Lights. Um, that is a, a two-hour uh, full darkness show that they run at Brickworld. Uh, we only ran it for the first hour because uh, running GBC at night is uh, exponentially harder than running it through the day. So much so that you don't actually repair modules, you just take them off and you swap them out. Um, I've only got a couple of photos to show you. Um, I was coordinator during the nighttime run, so a lot of my time was spent uh, running up and down helping people uh, swap out modules that had failed and just generally keeping it all ticking over. Um, so that was my layout for Brickcore Chicago 2019. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, the stuff I showed you and I look forward to making more videos. Thank you.